Another question that I had for you about, you know, being based here in the city. Um, you know, what's the best thing about being based here? And then maybe on the flip side also, what's kind of the worst thing? I have to say, I love New York. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just a little bit of a, a New York City girl. I wasn't mm -hmm. born here. I grew up um, partly in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. um, but I was born in Dallas, Texas. But I moved to New York as soon as I graduated, and I just feed on the excitement of the city. I love the fact that New York is go, go, go. I think New York takes you down a notch sometimes in a way that I think can be really positive, especially for mm -hmm. the technology community. One thing that was interesting about being in San Francisco is because technology in Silicon Valley is mm -hmm. so powerful out there, if you are you know, the top of the top in Silicon Valley, you know, you're, um, you're sort of revered by a lot of people around you. And what I kind of like in New York is you can be the most awesome person in technology in New York, and some person in finance is like, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you know, who do you think you are? And that person can then mm -hmm. walk two blocks down the street and somebody in fashion is like, oh, I'm sorry, you think you're so great, you know, you, you're nothing mm -hmm. to me. And you could argue, like, there's all these people being obnoxious to each other, but I think <laughs> in a way it actually means that there are so many industries and so many personalities vying for attention mm -hmm. that um, nobody comes from the same context. I love talking to people who have never read TechCrunch once about the muse because they might come to it with a really different perspective than someone who's really steeped in innovation, technology, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's positive for a business. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's been exciting. Um, that said, there's definitely, you know, New York has a long way to catch up in terms of capital. Um, mm -hmm. When I talk to younger entrepreneurs about fundraising, um, we, we definitely were offered higher valuations in, mm -hmm. on the West Coast than we were in New York. We chose often to work with New York investors because we wanted them as investors, and right. it wasn't so big a difference in valuation that, um, you know, that it that didn't seem like a trade-off worth making, but it was mm -hmm. something, you know, to notice. And I also think there's an interesting difference in hiring engineering talent um, on the two coasts. For me, it seems like there are more people available, more engineers available in San Francisco, but people stay at companies a little bit less long. There's a little bit less of a kind of cultural imperative towards loyalty. And so for us, you know, we have um, only had one person leave the Muse in the last probably 24 months. Mm -hmm. um, it's a company where, you know, once people join generally, they tend to stay around for mm -hmm. a while and, and we hope for much while longer. So that culture of, um, of choosing a company and really committing to its growth is, um, was really important for us.